Iron at the end with Lovesick. You know, I was a big Bish fan and I really enjoyed uh, Iron at the End's album, The End. I know she's had a lot of other stuff since. Um, now, I've, uh, to be entirely honest, we're always honest on this channel, I've been kind of on a bit of an up and down journey with Ina because I think she, she comes across so well and she's so incredibly talented that I think she has just this, like limitless potential to do amazing things. Uh, yet she's had some songs that I've not been super into. And I think sometimes it's the ones where I feel like she's more playing towards being cool and kind of doing whatever the cool current thing is. I think sometimes those are the ones that I'm not a big fan of, but when she does stuff that just feels like, hey, this is Ina just expressing Ina. Of course, we never know. We never know what's in people's heads. We never know when they're honestly expressing their own emotion and doing what, the, it, it's all kind of up in the air, but I just kind of get the feeling, her songs that to me come across like they're really from a personal place, they're always the ones that, um, when I feel like I'm getting that from one of her songs, that's definitely when I feel like I'm enjoying it the most. So I'm kind of interested to see where we go with Lovesick. Um, I'm hoping it's kind of uh, got a bit of that vibe. Of, well, I, I guess the vibe that I always enjoyed most from her, as well as her Bish stuff, was the vibe that we got on that album, The End, by Iron of the End. So I'm just intrigued to see where we go with this. But Lovesick, it's a new single. Fingers crossed, just shy of four minutes. Let's get into it. Um... Yeah, I just I really want to enjoy this. I'm a big fan of hers. I think she's a great person, super talented. So uh, I'm always like rooting for Ina to deliver something that just I, I can rave about. So let's check it out. Loving that mix between sort of Japanese traditional and a bit of soul in there. Oh, she's in a fish tank. Interesting, I did not expect it to go in that direction. <clears throat> we went from very rhythmic to very rock quite smoothly. Oh, and back. Nice. Okay, we're getting a great mix of... Um, And a great mix of feels on this song. Keeps you on your toes. She's got a thing for the artsy, hasn't she? Really loving her, just that real sort of that heartfelt expression. Oh, nice, loving that key change. This is so expressive. This is kind of the Ina that we really want. Well, I really want. Although this scene, is, I'll get to that in a minute. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Look, there's so many nice little transitions in here as well. <coughs> okay, that is not what I expected at all. That is not what I expected at all. Now, I, I have to say, first of all, something about what was it? It was the it was the scene where she's on top of the big old pile of cloves. Um, that reminds me a lot of the album cover of the end. And you know, I haven't listened to that album in a while. I'm starting to wonder: what, is this song like off of that album? It even reminds me of a lot of the things I liked about that album. I haven't listened to that album for a while, though. So I wonder, is this a, is this like a late arriving video or something? Because it only came out a few days ago. But look, okay. I don't... If I have heard this song before, I do not remember it. It says it's a new digital single. Um, but anyway, look. The, that image of her on top of like all the clothes uh, or fabric or whatever, combined with the whole feel of this. Yes, the, you know, this genuinely does bring me back to what I loved about that album. Um, I hope it's a new song. Either way, I don't care. But I mean, I hope it's a new song because it's like, this is what I want. Um, now, one of the interesting thing is she did that song uh, not uh, maybe a year or so ago now, uh, the one which was written by TK from Ling to Si De Sigura. Um, and that was a really good one, but I kind of felt like that song was great because TK is a great writer, but I felt like in that song, Aina was like, uh, she was like doing that weird squeak over push thing with her voice, voice a lot of the time. that It sounded a little like it was being overdone for style. Um, to sort of sound expressive, whereas in this song, this is this is properly this is the Ina expressive vocal. She just felt like she was frying herself into every note, and the song gave her so much to work with. The key changes, the changes of mood, the change. Uh, yeah, yeah, that big dramatic rock chorus, but the rock chorus itself, it was in keeping with everything. I love the way that we went from that sort of like very sort of traditional style Japanese rhythm, and the, uh, she's doing a little bit of soulful vocals, and the way that transition so seamlessly into the rock side of the chorus was just great um yeah this is this is what i want to hear from Ina. you know she's got room to be expressive with the rhythm she's got room to be expressive with the emotion and she's using the voice to do it she's not having to ham it up she's just expressing what's already in the song um for me this was just um this was this was really really intriguing it kept me on my toes as well like i say the changes were not all like signposted, you know, you, that key change when it came in, I didn't see it come in, but when it came in, it just felt perfect. Um, you know, it was a song that developed in a very natural, honest way, um, but was just constantly sort of building and building upon the emotion, building upon the expression. Um, and this is the perfect sort of song for her voice, in my opinion. She can do so many things, but I love hearing her do songs like this. Um, yeah, this is so refreshing. <clears throat> I'll be honest, going into this, I was a little bit concerned. Uh, well, they're not super concerned, but I was just like, oh, I really hope it's, I, I really hope it's um, something that I can be excited about. And yeah, I, I, I came out of this, uh, as you can tell, first reaction. Yeah, I'm obviously very excited by it. Um, I think uh, what was, <coughs> sorry, what was also intriguing about this is the, um, that she got to play with her artistic side you know she's obviously really into doing very sort of artsy stuff um and i love the fact that music video gave her an opportunity to go a little bit ott on that as well but again it felt in keeping with the big um emotional crazy style of the song um yeah this was an absolute joy i really enjoyed this um i would definitely uh if she's doing albums of this kind of stuff i'm on board 110 percent uh just this was great great use of her voice Great emotional expression, great sort of transition between different styles, feels, rhythms. Um, yeah, just brilliant. So more of this, please. Anyway, those are my thoughts. As always, get in the comments to tell me what you think. And until I hopefully see you very soon in Japan for the next one of these. For now, ciao, ciao.